G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do? Star Citizen folks and yes welcome back now this is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass for you so as you can see there's a shitload of containers in here and and single containers there's a reason for that. Something glitched, something buggered up, and I got things in size, I think, 5 or 6, I can't remember what it was. And the game glitched, I logged back in, came back to the part where I was going to grab everything, and then, yep, they all came in fucking ones. Which really pissed me off. So this was a 23.0 patch, okay? Now this is why I'm saying it, because this is what happened there. So, as you can see, 4x4, four 16, all the way down, I think it's up to 13 in this first row thing, so what's that, 208 single packages? Yeah, so after about an hour and a half, that's how much I've been able to move. Trust me folks, it's taken bloody hours to load the ship up. And then again, to unload the bloody ship. And this is the cross we bear folks, so I'm going to run back here and let's see how much of it's left. Yeah. So I've gotten a bit of it out, but not all of it. And there is still what I would classify as a fuckload left over. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to take me another couple of hours for sure. Oh, for fuck's sake. Painful. What's even more painful now, folks, is that for some reason, um, with the new patch, I got into the elevator. And it kind of dropped me off here instead of dropping me off at my hangar. So this is now, um, what is it, 23.1 or whatever the hell it is. And so, yes, that's what happened to me. And that also means all that lovely cargo that you just saw, lost. One point something million AUEC, gone because of a bloody patch update. Anyway, I'm not here to complain. I am actually. Uh, but we're going to do something a little bit different today. So they've introduced these hauling missions. So I'm thinking to myself, well, instead of going off and just getting cargo coming back and doing it, let's do this like how it should be done. So first protocol, folks, is what I call the BP service station just above our cop. Now, for those of you that have watched the channel, you will know what the BP service station is. For those of you that are new to the channel, um, it's Bajin Point, but um, I don't like saying that, so I call it the BP. And there's smoke and shit coming out of everywhere. So here we go. We have to get the stuff. Now, this is the first time I'm doing this, so I'm assuming we have to send the freight elevator down to grab the shit, I hope. Is that it? Opportunity for... Okay, yep, yeah, that's cool. So it's even got the mission title there. That's not bad. Okay, and we send that thing up to the hangar. All right, far more easier than what I expected. I thought I had to go off and bloody claim this shit first. And that's fucking noisy. Let's see here. Oh, God. Boxes again. Little ones. One SCU. So we'll do this little bad boy. Oh, yeah. Also, two folks. Uh, after the uh, point one release... I lost my armor, I lost everything with the exception of the big ass multi tractor beam gun, but everything else gone. Backpack gone. Can't find it. So I'm quite annoyed about that because I liked the other backpack. This one is a different color, but I liked the yellow one. Anyway, this is what this uh, mission is going to entail. Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you all with the loading of all this stuff, but you get the general idea. We'll put this there. Yeah, kind of there. Beautiful, he's locked in. We're off to grab the last one. Thank you to Video Editing City here. Come on. Oh, I'll tell you what, folks, just for a bit of a laugh, all that scrolling that I've been doing these past few days with this bloody game and these um, cargo boxes, I think I've got fucking RSI in my finger, or at least arthritis starting to happen. Feel sorry for the missus. Looks like no extracurricular activity for her this evening. Uh, that, yeah. Okay, moving on. So there we go. We've got everything in. That's great. Let's holster the weapon. We will close the actual front of the ship. And this is the point in time where I now understand why the hell they've put the ladder there in the first place. Because it's quicker to go up the ladder, if it works properly, and it kind of does after a little jump there, than waiting for the elevator. So I kind of get that now. Now, normally you're probably asking yourselves, Ev, you usually cut this shit out. Why are you keeping it in there? Because, folks, 
this is the reason. A lovely little graphics glitch if I do say so myself. And apparently that's quite common at the moment. Um, as soon as this patch dropped, so did that little bug. So we want to get out of the BP server station. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a, well, was it Star Trek 3? Was it Star Trek? No, Star Trek 3. Where they took the Enterprise out of space dock and they reversed it out. And as you can see, uh, I'm getting very close to the space doors. So there you go, folks. There's a little bit of genre for you there. Star space genre. Okay, Star Trek genre. All right, we said it. So come on. Should have put the theme music in here, you know. Dun, dun, dun. And yeah, okay, fair enough. Anyway, let's back up a little bit. Wait, where the station go? Whoa, nope. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Is the doors opening again? Why are they opening again? Ah, fuck it. So apparently, I have to drop this off at area 18. That's what the mission briefing said. Pick it up at the BP service station, drop it off at area 18, which I'm assuming is my hangar. Interestingly enough, um, I don't see a quantum marker for Area 18. Uh, that's a new one. Let's have a look here. Let's look on the map. Where is everything? Here. No route available. Okay, maybe I'm clicking on myself. Maybe that's why. Uh, that's where we have to go. No route available. Area 18, no route available. Delivery shipment, come on. Oh, hang on. No, it didn't. Damn it. All right, that's fucking annoying. What I'm going to do, folks, maybe the game is kind of shit itself. Wouldn't surprise me. I'm going to head for an orbital marker, if I can fucking find one. Uh, I don't want to go anywhere else on the planet because that will just piss me off and I don't want to head halfway out of the bloody system because that also would irritate me. There used to be thousands of these bloody orbital markers. Are well, they six? Uh, orbital marker, what the hell is it? Hey, six, there we go. Or is it five? I'm fucking blind, I need new glasses. Anyway, off we go. Beautiful, now we'll chuck a Yui. There's an Australian term for you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And... Same fucking problem as before, you fucking cunt of a thing. All right, um, start map time again. Let's see if we do the typing in method. Area 18, yep. Hey, it's found it. Let's click on it, does it know? Yes, it does. Hey, and there's the marker. Oh, good God, fucking someone at CIG, look at this, please. I'm probably gonna raise this as an issue. Or whatever it is. I'll probably do that. Yeah, fuck it. I will. Um, let's have a look. But then again, at the time of me saying this, there's also a new patch that's been pushed as well. So who knows if that fixes it. So I'm at my personal hangar now at R Corp. And what I'm going to do, folks, is something a little bit different. I've never tried this before. But I'm going to spin the good old Hercules just a bit around to see if I can get the nose of the ship lined up to, well, better lined up to the um, cargo hangar. So I'm just being very, very cautious. I'm kind of moving in, moving out. Low speed maneuvers with the landing gear down, safest way. So it looks okay from this side. It kind of looks all right from that side too. Um, let's put him down. Yeah, slowly, slowly, Ev. No heroics. Get a little bit forward, so at least we're kind of on the landing pad. A little bit further down. This is quite cool. Never landed the ship like this for you before. Nice. Probably the best landing I've done. <laughs> okay, no more ass views. It's only going to be the side views for landing. Probably not. Here we go. So, let's have a look. Let's get out of the ship, shall we? Can't have. Hang on, it's not getting me out of the ship. There you go. So what we're going to do is wait for all these doors to open. Let's see how I lined it up. I think I know how I lined it up, but let's have a look anyway. Yes, folks, this is how long it takes to get out of the bloody um, cockpit area. Down into the cargo bay. Animation, how's that? 
Uh, at least it's holding the rails and then it climbs up the stairs again. Fucking hate that. So let's press the button here for the doors to open. And let's have a look. How do we do? You know what? Not too bad. That's actually not too bad. I can live with that. So it's just a matter of click, scroll, 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 scroll. Or mouse wheel, mouse wheel, mouse wheel, mouse wheel. Okay, I'm an idiot. So let's do it this way, pick him up. Let's do it again, pick him up. Come on, you mongrel. Okay, so we'll move back a little bit. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's even got the um, thing showing up as well. Nice. So I don't want that, I want the other view. Oh, lovely. As soon as I change views, it drops the tractor. Yeah, very nice. Nice little feature that is. Okay, I'll put one there and we'll grab just one random one, grab that one. So what I'm gonna do, folks, is I'm going to actually put two on just to see what the hell happens if I put two into the storage. It is because the reason why I'm doing this is because I can see that stupid marker that's telling me it's not really there, like I'm 100 meters away or something like that. So let's have a look. I don't, okay, that doesn't tell me anything. If I put this, ah, here we go. So that's two out of 11, one SCU containers. Time remaining, zero, zero. Okay, so this looks like it's the right spot. So let's put him down. Now, that's why I tested it, folks. If it's stuffed up, well, it's stuffed up. Who cares? Um, let's go up again. Yep, all right. So as we can see in the top corner of the screen, there is two of 11, which are down there, which is good. And this is the last one I'm bringing over. Again, thank you, video editing. Actually, it took about five minutes to do this, so that wasn't too bad. So turn that bloody thing off, holster the damn weapon, and let's run to the terminal, shall we, folks? Here we go. We're going to press the F for I love you button. Hey, now it's okay. At least the game's counters work, which means it can count. Okay, transfer to warehouse. Transfer complete. I don't see anything there that is not mine. That's annoying. So, no message. All right, um, let's check the rep. Because I've done a mission, but I didn't pay attention to whom the mission was for. Is it like a hauling mission now? Uh, nope, I don't see anything. Shit, um, maybe Kovalex? Ah, there it is. How big is the mission tree? Oh, piss off, that's more than the, oh shit. That's more than the bloody courier. Ah, shit. That's gonna be a lot of game time invested. All right, that's interesting. So, accepted. It doesn't want to tell me. Uh, offers, hauling. Okay, we've got four, now five. All right, so a few more missions are coming in. So this is obviously the level one missions that I now have access to. All right, we're not gonna read them now, folks, but thank you very much for watching. Now, for those of you that wanna stick around and see some stupid stuff, um, here you go. So, in prep for the next mission, which is usually me getting my ass into space, and then, logging off and doing something else so when I log in the next time it doesn't take 10 hours I ended up coming across these two ships that were sitting here doing nothing so I thought just for shits and giggles I'll capture the Pisces just to see what's going to happen I've never done this on um let, let's just say I've never done this for a ship that is not mine let's put it like that so anyway it looks like we've captured the Pisces at least I think that's what's happened let's go down and have a look shall we so the idea, folks, really, is um, I want to capture it and then just log out. That way I can use it a little bit later. It's not the medical one, obviously not. This is the old standard. And again, I'm climbing up the fucking stairs. Um, what I'm going to do is probably close the door first, just in case something fucking happens, or if other people decide to get creative. And now I'm going to see if I can, yep, going in is fine. Get into the um, cockpit. That's beautiful. Graphics is pretty crappy. Was everything gone? Oh, it's my doors closing. Nice. So now I'm just going to align it, shift it. Now don't fucking hit everything, Ev. Line him up. Go a little bit further back. That looks about right. Uh, landing gear. That's a good thing, isn't it? Am I down? Yeah. Uh, leave the engines. Nah, kill the engines. 
So I got the engines off. Nice. Trespassing on private property. Leave or risk prosecution. Well, for those of you that want a good laugh, it's leave or risk prostitution. But um, yeah, okay. So I'm oh, leaving private property. Very nice. So no prostitution record. That's good. I'm not going to close the um, rear hatch because I might not be able to get the damn thing open again. So let's just leave it like that. And let's go up and log off, all right? That's what we're going to do. So this is a prep for the next one. So who knows? And this is the part about the game I really like. There's just random shit you can actually do in the verse. And I'll be honest with you. I mean, we all give this game a bit of a bad rep at times. Um, but yeah, I think it's a, a, to do this shit is not, not that bad. Um, and I also realize this is why I'm heading back to the cockpit. Very nice. That bug is still there again. I'm going to like just get myself out of here a little bit because I realize I'm still kind of in orbit of the planet, but not really at orbital level. So I don't want to fuck around with this shit. Let's just go for a little bit. Give it a one, two, three, maybe four count and then jump out. There we go. So we're in space. That way I can probably log off without having any stupid messages. You're too close to that. You should be away from here and all the other crap that goes along with it. So there we go. So off to the hab ring. And again, if anybody knows how I can keep these doors open constantly, please let me know. And I also just realized something. I want to go down and just have a quick look. Actually, not a quick look. I'm, uh, again, this, this is me fucking around here, folks. I'm probably going to go... No, that looks all right. Looks nice. Fits quite well. Again, I'm not going to turn it off. I'm going to go and actually do a photo shoot. Um, shall I? Yep. I think the front of the ship looks about right. Again, this is me fucking around. Don't have to sit here and watch this. Uh, if you don't want to, skip ahead because there's probably something interesting later on in Star Citizen. There's always something interesting later on. So let's turn around. Yeah, look at that. Very nice with the Crusader logo at the, <laughs> the top. Okay. Um, Ev's character, we doing okay? Look in the camera. Ah, she didn't want to look. She's angry at me for fucking around and wasting her time. All right, so here we go, folks. We've said it multiple times. We, I've said it multiple times. We are off to the habit area. Assuming it's going to let me do it. Here we go. Let's go for a little run. Running, running, running into the hab area we're running to. And we're going to press and hold down F, which is stupid because it doesn't show me up here. I have to move my head down and then do that. And again, it's still out of screen, but obviously the bottom one said lie down. Sit down is not going to work. So let's have a look. Where's this stupid little marker thing? Yeah, yeah. Hold down F. Don't. Yep. Was that? Log out. Unknown vehicles in ship. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Really? <laughs> oh, man. Is this mean enough to get rid of the ship? Ah, that sucks. You can't even steal and log out. That's horrible. We'll call the elevator this time. Uh, maybe I should have taken the steps. The ladder. Stairs. What am I fucking saying? All right, here we go. All those stairs would be quite cool here, like a spiral staircase or some shit like that. So track the beam it is. I don't want to get any issues with the points from like a crime stat. So let's just track the beam the fucking thing out. Oh, lovely. You telling me it doesn't work? It doesn't work. So let's open the door. Good thing that I'm not just above the planet. Oh, you asshole. All right. You know what this means, does, don't you, folks? We're going to have to do a little bit of flying and pretty fucking quickly so I don't end up with a crime stat. Okay, so here we go. Engines on. Go. Jump up. Come on. Take off, you mongrel. Take off. No, nope. fucking hit the roof. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Am I out? Far enough, I think so. Oh, that might be a bit difficult. Let's see. Ah, oh, a bit of a Superman maneuver. And let's have a look. 
Am I going to smash it or not? That might not be far enough out. Oh no, that retracts. Oh, is it going to go can crusher styles or not? <laughs> We're very fucking lucky here, folks. Okay, now comes the question. Is this thing going to fucking let me log out? That's the question. Or is it going to tell me your ship is too close to another vehicle? Please move your ship away and then try again later. Thank you. Let's have a look. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Again, we have to look down, lie down. We have to look down to lie down. There you go. So here we go, folks. How's it? What's going to tell us? What's going to tell us? Yay, we can log out. But no. Thanks for watching.